All right, today we're looking at the Old Town Autopilot Sportsman Kayak. It's a 136. It's a 13-foot, 6-inch kayak. Old Town actually sent me this one to test out and to fish with, to use, to have, and it's pretty amazing. So they didn't require anything of me, but obviously I'm pretty giddy about it. And so I'm going to try to do an honest review without being too glowing. But when you look at this thing, I mean, it's pretty amazing. It's basically a bass boat. Uh, it's another level of kayak and it's five thousand dollars and there's a lot of reasons for that again it's a very big boat but it's also got a motor that goes with it Minn Kota motor we're going to talk about that in a minute it's got spot lock technology it's got the whole nine yards uh, one of the cool things about this boat in particular uh, this one is made to look like a fire tiger fishing lure so you got the stripes here you got the eyeballs on the front the fire tiger fishing lure there's a there's a limited edition boat and uh, I actually nicknamed mine Sherby because she reminds me of the old Flintstone Push Pop Sherbert ice cream. It's kind of what I was thinking. So Sherby here is gonna be a lot of fun to fish out of. Let's take a closer look. So when you start looking at this thing, it's pretty amazing. Um, just a lot to go over here. This is a battery box, the seat goes here. We'll talk more about that in a minute, but this is a battery box and it's strapped in, but you also have an additional strap that keeps the box closed. You open the box and I'm just now starting to tear into this thing. So you got the positive and the negative leads. This uh, actually comes out here and plugs in. This is how you get power to your trolling motor here. So you flip this little spring loaded cover up, plug your trolling motor battery in there. And then that in turn brings power up here. Where we'll plug the battery in in a minute or plug the trolling motor in in a minute. Uh, speaking about the motor, so this is the cover here and whenever you want to fish if you want to fish with just a paddle you don't have to have the motor in you put that cover on there where you don't have to worry about anything falling through the hole you can see there the hole goes all the way through the hull but if you want to go fishing with just a paddle you can put this in here and it's covered now if you do want to have the motor in you can take this it actually has a nice little storage place back here a little molded spot with two places for the bungees to connect pretty cool Obviously scupper holes all over the place. Uh, bungees on the back here, huge tank well. Uh, it's got track mounts on the sides, uh, as you would expect. It's got four, one, two, three, four in hole rod holders, more track mounts on the front. It has fully adjustable pedals here for your feet. And what's really cool about this also, the trolling motor again, we'll talk more about that in a minute, but you also have the ability to control the massive rudder that's in the back here is an XL fishing rudder. You have the ability to control this rudder with the foot pedals up there. So when you push on the foot pedal, the rudder will actually turn. And so that's a pretty neat deal. So you can adjust them to get them to the length you want. But then once you get them adjusted, you can actually, if you're a long leg guy, push it, see that stay in the same place. Pretty amazing. Or if you're short legged, that's a word you pull them up here and see the rudder moves and these move pretty amazing stuff this right here used to deploy your trolling motor we'll talk more about that again in a minute after this loud truck goes by yep put the wires back in here like I said we got I actually have a lithium battery it's in my bass boat that I'm gonna pull out to use in this right here so I'm gonna use this I'm get the boat out on the water soon I'm just kind of doing a walkthrough right now. So this is, unlock it here. It's really actually very tight. I pulled this off earlier. It's got a rubber, rubberized seal here. And this is actually where you have under hull access where you can actually get down in the bottom of the boat. They already got it pre-wired for everything. Uh, pretty amazing rig, but if you wanted to do additional wiring, and it's, it's got places already to, to plug in graphs and uh, transducer mounts underneath the boat and all that kind of stuff pretty amazing what else do we got just kind of looking through it right quick you got a shallow water anchor mount here if you want to put power pole on back here again this is the rudder and uh cool thing about the rudder you can actually let this lever here lift or deploy the rudder so you pull it up push the pedal to get it straight there you go store the rudder lift this lever here deploys the rudder Pretty bougie. We got more in hole storage here or access out of where you can get in. So again, you can go way under the boat. You see the wiring. You see there's wiring everywhere. So it's already pre-rigged for uh, graphs in several places. And that's what these little deals here are. 
you take that off and if you want to mount a graph right here, you got access to get to your wiring there for your transducer and your power and all those things. So obviously it's got nice handles here on the front. Oh, it's got handles on the side. And on the back, instead of having rubberized handles or whatever, you have two handles underneath here. So you can grab here, pick it up, tote it. This boat, I'll go ahead and tell you, is heavy. It's 158 pounds, I believe, between the boat, the seat, and the motor. And we'll go ahead and start talking about the seat a little bit now. So one of the cool things um, with this particular boat here, the Fire Tiger, limited edition, they partnered with Pure Fishing, Old Town did, to give you a Plano stowaway, big bag, and then a bunch of different baits and stuff. So pretty neat. I really like this bag. I hadn't had one of these yet either, but uh, pull this little deal out here. Tells you more about what all you got going on. Basically a big Ziploc bag. So you got a Chapo. If any of y'all been watching my videos lately, been catching the fire out of them on that. You got the general stick bait. A little salt water bongda shrimp here. I don't know much about that. Got the old slobber knocker, Berkeley X5, braided line. You got a power bait, I mean a Berkeley power blade, spinner bait. Then you got some of the power jerk shad. So you get a little bag of goodies here if you get the Fire Tiger limited edition color. It all comes with the boat. Nice little addition. They got some additional information about the remote control and how all this stuff works. 45 pound thrust Minn Kota trolling motor. It's got iPilot. It's also got uh, spot lock, which is amazing again. So we're gonna talk more about that in a minute. Talk a little bit about your max battery life, different powers of batteries, 100 amp hour battery. I've got a 100 amp hour lithium battery and uh, looks like you can ride on it a pretty good while, uh, about eight hours if you kind of use it in moderation. If you just go full throttle on a 100 amp hour battery, you're looking at two hours. Max battery life, you can use it for 25 hours if you're really easy on it. Got your seat here, you got two positions. You can put it in high and a low. Again, we'll go ahead and strap all this back in for illustrative purposes. But you got the strap here that catches, closes the box itself up. Okay, strap that goes over top to strap the box in. Now your battery is secured. Take this, you got the high rise here, and then you got the high rise here and the low rise. So put it in the high. Knock it in. Now, there's a strap back here on the back. You use this, click it in real simple, buckle it in. Whoop, psych, just kidding. Gotta go over this. Yeah, but anyway, buckle it in. Now your seat's locked in. Had to worry about that. Between the hooks and that lock in the back, you're good to go. Super big seat, I hadn't been in it myself. I hear it's real comfortable. But it's a pretty large seat, which I'm excited about because I'm a fairly large individual. Um, this is the kill switch. We'll talk about that in a minute for when you get the motor in. Also a really nice waterproof storage box. It's actually spring loaded, which is pretty cool. But you can flick that open with one hand. You wanna put your phone, keys, whatever like that down in there, waterproof. You got a nice seal. Put that back down, lock it into place. I've got little bungees there. You got additional storage here all over the boat. I uh, got rod holder slits right there. If you want to set your rods down here, that's nice. And again, storage here, here, and here. Got a little bit of storage about everywhere on this thing. It's got EVA foam decking. Really nice. You can stand up. Really easy, functional, really smart boat. Now here is the coup de gras. This is it right here. The motor. Look at that beauty. Minn Kota Ultrex, basically, called the Power Drive, but it's essentially a 45 pound thrust Ultrex trolling motor. Look at that. Look at that. That's epic. Epic. So you bring her up here. Let's wire her out of the way. Drop her into place. Little metal hooks there for the latch into. Rock it up and it'll lock in just like that. Now, take this plug, plug it in over here to this little deal we showed you a while ago. It says top, pretty obvious. Flip the little flip down, 
slide that bad boy in there, plug her in. Now you got power, obviously I don't have the prop on there, but you got power, got your trail motor prop. Obviously we'll go right there. A little box with all the goodies you'll need. This right here is your pull cord. And this is what you'll use to actually drop the trolling motor in, but you gotta hook this up first. So you got a little deal here, pull that, that pulls this string here. So when you pull on this, it pulls on that. You'll actually take this and hook it over this bolt here. So hex head bolt. Now, what you have here, you can pull on that and it'll pull this down and drop it into the hole, just like that. So now, once you get your trolling motor down all the way, this right here just flows smoothly, okay? It's got a spring-loaded system. Once you get that in, all you gotta do is pull this tight and then pull it down in these little deals here, and these little teeth hold the rope. Pretty cool deal, very neat design. But you gotta get that pulled down securely to where this makes contact. This is like a kill switch here. So if this doesn't make contact, the motor won't run. It's a magnetic kill switch, very neat design. This is also a kill switch here. It's got an extra pin for your trolling motor prop if you bend your prop shaft pin. But you take this, you connect it over here, like so. And now your kill switch is hooked up. You hook this to your life jacket, where if you fall in, the battery stops. Your motor doesn't just keep going without you. Really cool deal there. And whenever you lift this bad boy up, you can see it's got the prop there. If you need to adjust your prop, get some uh, grass off it or whatever, this is a prop wrench as well. So take the prop off with this, put the prop on with it. Got an extra prop shaft pin, pretty neat deal. Kill switch, all in one. Now, when you get ready to take the motor out, make sure you unplug it first. I've failed to do that a couple times. Plug your wire, take this off here, okay? Fold this up here, and then just lift her out. Good to go, very neat deal, very neat deal. Now, you have two ways of controlling the boat. Turn the prop on, let her go straight, and you can actually control it with a rudder, or when you power this on, you got spot lock, you got right and left, uh, you got motor on, you got faster, slower. Really, really neat deal. Uh, you can clip it on to your life jacket. Always wear a PFD and clip it on there. Or it's got a lanyard. Just undo that clip. Clip it here if you want to put it around your neck. Uh, if you want to tie it off to the boat somewhere, however you want to do that. Uh, one other thing I did, uh, I went ahead and installed a little paddle holder here. And they just, you know, they don't send it installed, I guess, where it doesn't get ripped off the edge. But it's just two simple screws. There's brass grommets on the back with threads in them. That's just where you can put your paddle right there, strap it in. Really neat deal. Beautiful boat, super exciting. <laughs> Gonna be a little hard not to see me coming. Uh, she's shiny, she got a lot of color to it, a lot of flair, got a little flair to me. I like to fish night tournaments. Gonna probably fish one out of it pretty soon. Shouldn't have any problem with boats seeing me out on the water. Very vibrant, uh, got a little flag coming for the back of the boat. When I'm driving down the road where it's sticking out of the back of the truck, I don't really think that's necessary. If you can't see this, you're not gonna see the flag. Long story short, Sherby, she got some color. She's real bright and I'm really excited about her. Looking forward to getting out on the water, testing her out soon. That's a little walkthrough. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Catch y'all next time.